Coastal deposition is looking at shorelines where there is more sediment being added than is being removed from the beach. So in these locations, we'd actually be growing new land out into the body of water. It could be the ocean, it could be a lake or an inland sea. So we're going to do a sample problem that is very similar to what you would see and do in an intro geology lab, where we have a delta that a river is providing sediment to. We can see the red line is the coastline in the year 2008. And let's say that the map was made in the year 2013. So five years later, we can calculate how much has the growth of the delta been in something like kilometers per year. So what we are going to do is we're going to use the equation of V equals D over T. Velocity, or the rate that the delta has grown, is the distance, D, over the time period that we're looking at. So to calculate D, the first thing we're going to do on the map is measure A to B in centimeters with our ruler. So I'm going to take the ruler, it's a little hard to see because the yellow didn't come out too well, but point A on the shoreline in 2008 to point B, the shoreline, again when the map was made in the year 2013. So we take our ruler, and again your numbers might be a little bit different because your image might be a different size, but we measure from A to B, and I get 9.8 centimeters. So we want to write that down. And we want to set it up as a fraction. So again, A to B goes on top of the fraction. The next thing that we want to measure to figure out the distance is the scale with our ruler in centimeters on the map. So we take the map and we are going to measure all the way across the entire scale in centimeters on our ruler. So we set that up and we find that, again, your number might be a little bit different because your image is a different size. On this one, it is 7.9 centimeters. So we write that on the bottom of the fraction. We're not done yet for solving for D because the last thing we need to do is we need to multiply what we've measured with our ruler and set up on the fraction by the number on the end of the scale. So the number on the end of the scale on this map is 5 kilometers. So we need to put that in to our equation for distance. And now we are ready to punch this in to our calculator to figure out the distance from A to B that is on our map area for the delta. So we take 9.8 centimeters divided by 7.9 centimeters times 5 for the kilometers. So you will see centimeters over centimeters will cancel and when we punch that into our calculator our answer will be left in kilometers and it will be equal to 6.20 kilometers. So we can go ahead and write that in For the velocity portion also, because remember, velocity equals distance over time, so we put that on top. To figure out time, again, we have the coastline in 2008, and we said that the map was made in the year 2013. So to figure out time, we're going to subtract those two numbers. So we're going to take 2013 minus 2008, and we see that the time period that has elapsed is five years. So we're going to go ahead and throw that into our velocity equation as well, because V equals D over T, so the five years we got for time goes into the bottom of the fraction there. We are now ready to plug this into our calculator to figure out what the rate is. So we take 6.2 kilometers divided by 5 years, and we find that the delta has grown at a rate of 1.24 kilometers per year. 
Now, you may have to convert units on this going to things like meters per year or centimeters per day. Uh, so be prepared to do that in the lab. But this sample problem gives you a good idea of what you can expect to do for coastal deposition in terms of calculations in an intro geology lab.